Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to use multiple criteria when using the filter function. So we're going to look at AND criteria, then ALL criteria, or AND criteria, and then a more complex criteria example. Now before I start, just to mention that the data that I'm going to be filtering is in an Excel table. So what I've done there is I've clicked somewhere in the data, I've gone to insert and then table. And I've also given it a name. So the name of this table is sales. That'll just make it a lot easier in terms of being able to refer to particular columns within the table. So in my first example, I want to return transactions where the product group is clothes and the customer type is stores. Now my array is the entire data set. So in a table, I can just click up here in the top left hand corner to select the data set, comma, and include is where I set my criteria. Now my first criteria relates to the product group column. So I can just select the product group column by clicking in the column header there. And I'm going to say that equals the value that I've got here in F2. Now, if you haven't got your criteria in a cell, you could just type it in. But if it's a text value, it needs to go in quotation marks. I just find it easier to have the criteria in a cell. Comma. Now, because I've got AND criteria, so the record must meet both of these criteria. That's AND criteria. Now, in this case, I've got to use a multiply symbol between the two criteria. So I would then say, is the customer type equal to store? Now, what you do need to do is put both criteria within parentheses. So if I put brackets around the first criteria and then the second, and then I need a final closing bracket for the filter function, press enter, and you can see that that's worked. I've got close here and store here. Okay, let's move on to all criteria. Now in this example, I want to return transactions where the product group is either clothes or hardware. My array is the entire data set. Include product group equals clothes. Now because this is all criteria, I don't use multiply, I use addition instead. And my second criteria also relates to the product group column. And I'm going to say, does it equal hardware? And again, I need to use parentheses around each of the criteria. And then a final bracket at the end of the formula. And you can see that that's worked. I've got records that relate to either the clothes or the hardware product group. So it's multiply for AND criteria and addition for ALL criteria. So let's move on to a slightly more complex scenario. So I want to return transactions where the product group is either clothes or hardware and the customer type is web. So my array again is the entire data set, comma, Include. So my first criteria would be that the product group equals clothes. And then because it's or, because I'm saying it's clothes or hardware, I use addition. I'm going to say, is the product group equal to hardware? Now I'm going to put both of those criteria in brackets. But then I'm going to put another set of brackets around both criteria. Then I'm going to include the AND criteria. So the transactions need to be in the clothes or hardware product group, but the customer type also needs to be web. So that's multiply for AND criteria. And I'm going to say, is the customer type equal to web? And that needs to go in brackets. And then I'll close the brackets for the filter function. And you can see that that's word. I've got transactions where the customer type is web and the product group is clothes or hardware. 
Let's look at one more example. So in this one, I want to return transactions where the product group is clothes and the customer type is web, but I also want to return transactions where the product group is hardware and the customer type is international. Equals filter. So we deal with this first line first. So my array is the entire data set, comma. And my first criteria would relate to the product group. So the product group needs to equal clothes and the customer type needs to be web. So and is multiply, customer type equals web. Now I need to put both of those criteria in brackets. And then put another set of brackets around both criteria. So I also need to include transactions where the product group is hardware and the customer type is international. So that's all criteria. For that, I use addition and the product group needs to equal hardware. And so that's multiply. The customer type needs to equal international. And I've got to use brackets again around both criteria. And then a further set of brackets around both criteria. And then a final bracket for the filter function. If I press enter, so you can see that's work. I've got hardware international and clothes web. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.